Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you five easy steps on how to do a bar spin on the flat ground. So grab your bike, class is in session. Wait a second. What? Let's try that again. That's a lot better. Hey! Oh man, come on. Hey man, I got this. Woo! All right man, that works. Let's go. tips about my nose. Huh? Take my nose. You picked your nose? Yeah. What? Kids. All right. Bar spins is one of my favorite topics to teach and I have taught so many people how to do this trick. One of the coolest things about learning how to bar spin is that it really opens up your mind on what you're capable of doing. If you're like any other beginners, this is going to be pretty scary and the steps that I have to show you to go through this is going to help you make that breakthrough. And you're going to come out of this being able to spin the bars around and you're going to be so stoked to go and show your friends. So let's get right into it. So, first step, we gotta tell people how to stand on the bike, okay? Yeah. So, one of the biggest tips for doing any of the drills that I have really is that whole chin over the handlebar thing. You're probably gonna hear me repeat that in a lot of my videos. It is gonna be the most helpful tip for you to maintain a center position on your bike while you're trying all kinds of different moves. Okay, so if we're gonna do a bar spin, we're gonna be taking our hands off for the most part, and so we're gonna have to learn how to hold our bike up with our legs. And so we're gonna wanna use our knees and our feet, pinch them really tight and close together on the bike, and make sure you're holding the bike up while you're doing this move. As soon as you let go with your knees or your feet, you might find the bike will fall over or slip out from under you. So we need to be very secure with this position. Make sure to watch my mobility video where I teach you how to do this a little bit more in depth. All right, look at the camera. Oh, what? All right, we're gonna do another step, okay? So step number two is to slowly start pulling your hands off of the grips as you get used to riding your bike with no hands while you're standing up. Eventually, you should be able to clap behind your back. And this is where you wanna be before you start doing any sort of flat ground bar spins. All right, so step number three. I wanna show you guys how the ground actually helps your wheel turn. This is gonna be a super assist for you as you learn this move. So make sure you understand which direction it is that you need to be turning. So if you're throwing a bar spin with your left hand, you're gonna make sure you're going in a circle to the left. If you're throwing the bar spin with your right hand, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're doing a circle to the right. Pretty simple. So after we've learned how the ground is gonna help turn our bars, step number four is gonna be taking our catching hand and putting it right down next to our leg and getting ready to throw that half bar spin. You wanna start out with the half bar spin. It's a little bit easier to do and your hands aren't off the bike for nearly as long. As soon as you throw with your throwing hand, the handlebar is gonna go right into your catching hand and it's gonna make things a lot easier for you. All right, ready for a full bar spin? Yeah. All right. And once you've mastered the half bar spin, step number five is just to be able to throw the bars all the way around in a full circle. Sometimes people will leave their hand on the handlebar the entire time to guide it all the way around, but either way, you're gonna get the hang of it really quick. You're gonna understand how the ground is gonna help those bars spin around. Pretty soon you're gonna be catching bar spins perfectly, and then you're ready to actually start learning it the other way. So definitely make sure that you learn bar spins with the left hand, learn bar spins with the right hand. So there you have it, five easy steps for learning bar spins. Make sure you learn these steps one at a time, mastering one step before you move on to the next one. It'll make things a lot easier for you. I really appreciate you watching this video, giving it a like, hit the subscribe button. I just dropped a new monthly update on my Patreon page, so I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check that out and make sure that you feel like you're a part of all the action. If you feel like it, you can also subscribe to the channel for just $5 a month. What else do we wanna say?